greetings. Uh, my name is uh, Romanes. Uh, together with my wife. Good afternoon. I am Sharon Garros, and I'm coming from. We are coming from Vendok, Namibia. The reason that brought us here um, to South Africa is that we have heard so much about the man of God and what he's doing for the people of God. So. We, we actually said, let us come over so that um, we see the great work that the man of God um, is doing for the people and um, for, for the nation and for the world as, as large. So that, that is basically the, the reason uh, that brought us here. And uh, what we have heard is what we have seen. The reason that has brought us here, um, most specifically also on my part, is um, I have um, started um, businesses and um, I know that most of the times when you start a business it's not going so well so I just wanted um, the man of God you know for him to pray for breakthrough in my businesses and then also impartation of the Holy Spirit because we are in ministry and uh, we just wanted, you know, that atmosphere and that, you know, that contact with the man of God just to do something or to say something. Most importantly, we just wanted to hear what God is saying about us in terms of ministry. Today we, we met the man of God on the one-on-one -on -one session and uh, he mentioned a couple of things. Maybe I'll mention one or two. The first prophecy that he prophesied over me he, he mentioned that I have something in my, in my tummy on the right hand side. And uh, he said someone has uh, caused it so that it can uh, maybe cause pain to me. So I confirmed that prophecy because before we came to Jobek, uh, there was a specific day, just the night before we arrived here, I was painting this whole area and I even asked my husband to just touch me because the pain was a little bit unbearable. And he touched me but the pain was coming and going. So the man of God identified that. The second thing that he, he prophesied over me is he said there's something on my left uh, shoulder. Um, and then I didn't know what it was, but he said he sees something put in my lost left, um, left shoulder. So, and then he said there's something on my left ear. I confirmed that. And I said yes, because my left ear could not hear. It is exactly uh, 12, about 12 years now when I was uh, expecting my second born child and uh, one uh, just before delivery I just became sick and then I almost fell down and then afterwards immediately I started to hear sounds in my uh, left ear. Suddenly I just realized the ear could not hear since that year 2010 up to now but I have received my my healing and my breakthrough. Concerning my left ear, um, as I said, the man of God identified it. I was not even planning, I didn't come for prayer for it, but he just located me. So what happened is since 2010, when, the, when, the, when I, I became, I was pregnant and I became suddenly sick just right before delivery, I became sick, I am almost fell down, and then immediately when I almost felt, suddenly my ear ran blank and I could not hear till since that year. So now, um, and the other thing is that I need to mention as well, when somebody is sitting on my left side and the person is saying something, then I need to bring closer my ear so that I can hear what the person is saying. Or somebody will be standing there, and even if I close this right ear, and uh, I'm trying to listen, 
there is nothing there is no sound that will become coming through but now after prayer if i close here and somebody's addressing me i can feel there was something like moving like i don't know how to explain it but it's it's like winds like almost wind blowing so and now i can sense that it's opening it's suddenly open up so yes thank you jesus thank you jesus i thank god for this wonderful day i thank god for this wonderful day god's grace is unlimited god's grace is unlimited and it has located me sorry and it has located me <laughs> and it has located me the, and it has located me amen amen so uh, when we met one on one was um he confirmed my uh my calling as a servant of god uh, called for the nations and called for the people um and then um he also mentioned um that sometimes as a man of god you think too much and you worry and so on so to leave the worry in the hands of god and god will make a way yes bless you now we we believe god for for greater levels of uh grace and 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 favor uh in our lives and also for the people of the world uh bringing the lost at all cost that is the core a uh, function that all of us are called for we can do a lot of things so we walk away that we will impact the nation uh for for the glory of God I I believe I strongly believe for that coming to see the men of God is a major major breakthrough uh my personal life my spiritual life and as well as also for my family because he there were he spoke a lot of things uh maybe because of time he spoke quite a number of things and uh, which we did not expect he spoke about breakthrough and um and i want to thank god that through his word of wisdom and his word of encouragement um we can now go back with you know revived hearts and our spirits are completely um you know completely renewed i feel fresh i feel so much anointing and i feel god i i really feel the presence of the lord amen um i would encourage the people that are really that feel that their lives are not moving forward to just come here at the charis missionary church because there is life here there is a, re- a revival personal revival there is spiritual revival um the other thing is you get to meet a lot of believers and by meeting a lot of believers that pray deep in the spirit we were so much touched by the pastor that was leading the service pastor Mal- malodi yes she was leading the church service and i'm a person of prayer I love prayer so she was constantly putting us on there was no moment that we felt like you know uh, I'm tired of the prayer so the atmosphere here the 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 friendliness and you know the love that we have come to experience here is something else so I'm encouraging everyone sometimes it's not really about just coming for that specific healing but sometimes it's just the atmosphere that you need. I my final words to the viewers out there. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and the servants that he has sent uh you shall live. So I'm encouraging you come and get the atmosphere come and meet the men of God and your life will never be the same. Bless you. I w- I pray for you. I pray that God is alive. is about to bless you. Amen. I release the blessing for you. you. In the name of Jesus. Take it now. Take it. Take it the little bit. Look here, brother. Look at your wife, brother. Okay. Look here. In the name of Jesus. 
This head that is shaking is going to pray for people. In Jesus' name. Take it.